So, hello fellow coin collectors, how are you going? And this is Glenn back with another video. And today I have the coins of seashells. So, if I turn it over, here is the coat of arms of seashells. And as you can see, let's get a close up. He has two swordfishes around the side. He has a land tortoise, which um comes from seashells, there's different species for different islands. It has the islands, obviously a trade ship in the background. It has a bird up the top, not too sure what bird that is. Most likely an endemic bird from the seashells. Looks like a type of swallow or swift. It has a, a knight's helmet there. And it has a motto down below. This is common on all these seashell coins. And let's have a look at uh, the better side. So, so this is called the Nature Series. Well, that's what I call it anyway. So we have the monk mud crab on the one cent. And uh, Skyla Serata. We have uh, the Minok plant. This is a type of cassava. We have the a tuna on the 10 cent. The 25 cent has the black parrot. As you can see, it has a large bill, parrot shape. So it's obviously a parrot. The one rupee has a a hermit crab in a conch shell. I mean, conch shells is actually synonymous. They have a, they actually have this shell on the five rupee of Maldives, and the five rupees has a coconut palm. So these coins here from were introduced in 1982. So do one, five, and ten, and they were brass on two about. 2004 and then they would change to brass paid steel the 25 one and one was introduced in 1977 the 50 cent was withdrawn in 1977 as well and these ones are copper nickel well the 25 cent was copper nickel from 77 to 92 then after that it was copper plated or nickel plated steel should I say the one and five rupees were uh, copper nickel into 2010. 2010 it was changed to nickel plated steel. So this one is 2010. So how you find out if it's steel plated, you just put a magnet to it and it should stick to it. Um, as for, so these were replaced in 2017 with a new series. So if we put them together we have a look at the sides so here I have the sides as you can see the base metal or the brass ones are actually plain and the copper nickel ones are actually milled and uh, I haven't got the new series but I presume that's pretty much the same and they come along with a 10 roof piece as well so those are the coins of seashells you should be able to still get them in circulation I don't think they have been withdrawn. Uh, the new series is pretty much the same. They actually have the same dimensions, so I would presume that they would circulate together for quite a long time. So I like to make these videos to show people the currencies that are actually used currently around the world. But it seems that uh, for some countries, I can't keep updated because they, I buy these coins and then they change something in them and then I'll have to get another set or maybe another coin itself. Like um, Mexico changed the 10, 20, 50 cents. Well, that was 10 years ago. But then I had to get those coins as well because I already had the set. So coins are always evolving, always changing. Every year there is something different. And with all the currencies in the world, every year, yeah, at least one coin set or one banknotes would actually change. 
like they're currently changing the Hong Kong banknotes now, as well as Australia. So I wonder what is next. Hmm. Anyway, I do have some good stuff on my eBay store. And I also like to, well, say thank you very much for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you like it. Thumbs down if you don't. And uh, have an awesome coin collecting time, people. Thank you very much and bye-bye.